Alright, so the last time you saw us, we had just filled this up with coke. Uh, and that was about three, three, four days ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all the rusty tools have been sat in here. So we're going to take this off now. I'm going to see what colour the water is. Okay, if we're just looking at it from here, we can see that what was brown water now smells pretty rank. It doesn't smell terribly good at all. Um, the tools and the weights that we put in there are still all submerged. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this water out, we're going to put some fresh water in, and we're going to see how much rust we can clear off. And if we can clear off enough rust, then we will know, once and for all, that coke can remove rust. So let's get to it. Okay, so we've now got clean water here, um, and we're going to put in each of these individual things. So first we're going to do the hammer, up in the middle. Okay, give it a scrub, see if you can get any of the rust or any of the dirt off the hammer. We're just going to give it a gentle wipe. Okay, so you can see here, there, that there is some rust on it still, but I think it's done, done yeah. a half decent job. So the next one, we've got some rust around there, so let's see if we can actually remove any of the rust from that. It's, it's, it's looking, looking better than it was before. Which is great. So let's have a look at this, this lock here. So see if you can remove yeah. some of the rust off the lock there. Let's see if we can clean that up. And whilst we're doing that, we'll put some more of these what were rusty weights in. Let's see if we can clean them. How's that one looking? Look at it now. Okay, so there you go. It's fairly shiny. Not too much rust on that at all. So that's looking pretty clean. In fact, all of these are looking pretty clean. So we'll just leave them, you can leave them over there if you like. What we'll do, this is the saw. Now it's come out of the coke. Um, and we can see here that there's still some rust markings, but all of this here is literally, see it there, all, all coming off on my hands there. So let's let's put this in. Watch yourself on that. Well, let's give that a wash and see if we we'll, see if we can get anything off that. So we can actually see now that the rust is indeed coming off. And not all of it's coming off, but you know enough of it. Let's have a look. Let's give it a quick quick scrub there. Okay, and we'll turn it over, we'll do the same on this side. There we go, so if we hold that up, you can now see that the rust has actually been mostly removed. Not completely removed, but has actually been mostly removed. Now these don't look particularly nice at all, so uh, they're not too sharp, so it should be alright with them. See if we can actually uh, get them to look any better. It's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, I think they'll do. Let's turn it over and do that side. And that'll do. There you go. So we can see here that uh, you know it has removed some rust, but to be honest, there's still plenty more there. Okay, so these are all the things that we soaked in coke for four days. I think originally we were going to do it for three, but we ended up doing it for four. So let's see how we did. The shears, which were the worst affected, you know, totally usable now, brilliant. The saw, which had quite a lot of rust on it, most of that's come off. With a little bit more cleaning, it'll be perfect and ready to use. The hammer, yeah, still got a bit of uh, tarnishing on the top, but you know what, there's actually no rust on it at all. And that goes the same with the weights. The weights here and the household lock are cool. pretty much completely rust free. So, when we ask the question, does coke remove rust? Yes it does. It certainly does. Won't remove all the rust, but if you've got some rust on some stuff, give it a go and there's a good chance it will remove it. Now, if you want to see any more science experiment videos that you want us to try, do leave them in the comments section. And if you want to see more great home science experiments, 
don't forget to click like and subscribe. We do thank you so much for watching. We do appreciate everyone who watches our videos. We'll see you next time. Thank you.